Welcome to Evenings with John and Duncan. Happy Monday. It is Spotlight on Team Singapore and we have a very special sailing edition. The original Lion City Sailors in the house, John. <laughs> I love how, how you put that. Yes, we have Kimberly and Cecilia, our Team Singapore Sailors, in the house with us today. And we're going to find out a bit more about what it's like training overseas as well as being Olympic Games yeah, bound. Very, I'm not very quite exciting. the situation we're expecting this year, but still, we'd like to find out how they've been coping the past few months. Yeah. yeah. And how have you girls have been coping? I mean, you've gotten back to training yeah. uh, recently, shaking off that, that rust. Was it difficult? Yeah. I think um, we were really happy going back to the water. It's been like three weeks on the water. Um, I think it takes one sailor to know how it feels to be on the water. It's really a different feeling altogether. You have the space, you have the freedom. And it's great to be back. The first day, we just kept laughing. We fell down, we, we did funny things as per normal, any athletes does it. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Was it difficult? I mean, there was, I think, two, three months yeah. being homebound, not going out on the water. How long did it take before you like, got back into the swing of things? I think we took a few days, actually. Yeah. from Because our boat is a bit different. Like We don't actually sit down. So we're always on our feet and moving yeah. across the boat and stuff. So it's a bit unstable compared to like staying on the ground for like the past few months. So <laughs> at the beginning, like maybe the first few days, we actually were falling down, <laughs> stripping over a bit and then like not yeah. synchronized because we haven't been sailing together. So it took a few days. Yeah, I wow. think, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've seen all their photos and it's all, you know, like leaning back. <laughs> yeah, and, like, cool, oh, right? like really cool, you yeah. know? Yeah. It looks cool, but is it as easy as it looks? I mean, what is sailing like? Like we watch it. On, on television, we see the yeah. races, um, yeah. and I know obviously there's, there's so much that goes into it. I mean, I'm, I'm not uh, a sailing expert by any yeah. means of the imagination, but how did you get into it, and how much hard work does it take to be so good at the craft as, as you two are? Yeah, and on that, on that point, uh, as Duncan mentioned, maybe also what are some of the common misconceptions people yeah. have about sailing? I think the simplest one is sailing is easy, it's relaxing, you just sit there. It's, it's like the yachting, you know, yeah. like you have a yeah. drink, take a yeah. chill, <laughs> That's and go out to sea, but no, yeah. ours is not, not I anywhere think, close. Yeah, so, so as I said, it takes one to experience it. You have to go on one boat yourself and you'll get hit a lot by the wind. You'll be like, where is the wind, first of all? <laughs> yeah, so it's an experience you have to, you, you go out and you experience yourself. Um, misconceptions, yeah, I think I think that's, that's the, biggest the main one, one yeah. yeah. Is there a lot of pressure? I mean, like when, when there's the wind, when perhaps there's rain, you're not knowing how the waves are, are, are reacting. Like, how much pressure is there on the boat and how important is communication between the both of you? We've been training actually a lot, a lot about yeah. communication because it's quite hard to be two people on the boat without yeah. um, having the open communication at the beginning. Like, you're not used to like, speaking your mind so easily. So it's like... Um, we get quiet sometimes and we're like, okay, we cannot do this. We have to be more open. Yeah. We need to know what each other thinking and because we have to be synchronized all the time so that yeah. we can It's a special be boat because this boat, like, she really controls power. So yeah. she, she, she holds the sails, but I control the direction. And in sailing, actually, both have to be in sync. So one motion follows the other, actually. Yeah. So if you don't communicate or you don't spend enough time doing the same thing together, you actually can be off sync and it creates more instability in the boat. Yeah, so actually everything is together in this boat. So it's very 50-50, which is like yeah. why you have to train even more and even communicate even more. Yeah. Okay. It's such a thrill to have both of them here. Like, yeah. They are both like, going to the Olympics and yeah. Asian Games gold medalists as exactly, well. Exactly, exactly. We were just about going to go, uh, go into that yeah. point. The 18th Asian Games gold medalist. You won it with a race to spare, I believe. Yeah. How, how, did, how was that experience and was it kind of like a surprise for you? I mean, or you guys already had an expectation in terms of, yes, we, are, we know we're going to podium, but it was just um, how early or, I don't know, is there a right thing to say here? <laughs> <laughs> I think in any sport, like, Nothing's really expected, mm -hmm. I think, because there's always things Absolutely. you can't control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but for us, we were going in as the favourites, of course, because all the other countries were quite new to this boat class. So yeah, this boat class is called 49er FX. It's the first time in Rio, 2016 Games. So it was actually the first Asian Games with it also. Yeah. Yeah, so we had a bit more experience in the boat because we do the Olympic campaign and we went in as the favourites, yeah. But I think it was really, really good for us going in and to win comfortably. I think that 
that felt really good for Singapore, I think. Yeah. yeah. How much of a bummer is it that you're not going to Tokyo <laughs> this year? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't really think it's a bummer. Like, yeah. it gives us more time to prepare for the Olympics because we're kind of a new team in the, the, circuit. the circuit. Yeah. So, one more year actually gives us a bit more leeway to prepare ourselves even more for the games. Yeah. Do you have to, like, kind of pinch yourself sometimes and, like, I'm actually preparing for an Olympics, you know? <laughs> like, this is, like, the pinnacle of sport. Yeah. I think we've been on this campaign for like almost six to seven years. So I think yeah. it actually is the reality already. Okay. Our days revolve around this idea and we want to achieve something there. All you think about yeah, is sailing. Exactly. All you think about is that end goal, you know, yeah. you really want to do something great there. So I think, yeah, the games is very real in our mind. And that one more year, yes, when it came to us, Actually, we're supposed to be in Japan right now, mm. if you think about it. Yeah. Mm. The, the venue just opened, actually. So, like, yeah. if you think about it, it's quite a shocker. You realise that, oh, wow, one more year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so, okay, so speaking of how the Olympic Games and, of course, all our athletes who, who were Olympic Games bound uh, had to have s major changes to, to their plans this year, whether mm. it's competitions, whether it's preparations and all that, uh, and also being homebound. We're talking about some of the home workouts or trainings that you've had to do at home because of the, the current situation. Uh, maybe you could share with us some of the, the workouts you've been doing from home. Just for, well, not just for Duncan and I, but for everyone who's watching. Yeah. So we start now? Yeah, yeah why not? Show us. Yeah, whoever <laughs> wants to go ahead. Whoever wants to go first. Yeah. I'm going to start with the jumps I love first. this part of the series. Yeah, it's jump. always, yeah. Then I do REFF. Because I've always been curious about, you don't really have to uh, you know, jump every though. sport, uh, we, we do know that athletes train really hard, yeah. but yeah, every sport has its own <laughs> specific <laughs> set of, <laughs> of trainings, yeah, workouts, yeah. or, how, or how they condition themselves yeah. for that particular sport. So it's always interesting to see how they actually prepare or how they actually do their workout. So, yeah, today, we have <laughs> the benefit of seeing how sailors train. Okay. Yeah, we actually have a, like a plan list that we had from Renault. Okay. Oh. Our SNC from, from SSI. From SSI, SSI. Yeah. Renault, yeah. yes, we know Renault. So we do a <laughs> lot of power work yeah. during this time, a lot of single, single leg, leg strength work. Okay. and core. And we did some upper body push and pull. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Especially push because that one is something like they say females can gain quite a bit when you're working from home because something that generally we're not as strong as. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So like a lot of bench press and stuff also. Yeah, push yeah. ups, push ups. different formations of it. Okay. Yeah, so I can yeah. show, show you it. the Go for it. Why not jump? So the first one is Cecilia's going to show us this. how it's to like do it. It's like a squat jump. Yeah, so basically we just hold the hip and do a squat, hold it for what a few seconds, and then we jump. Okay. okay. Explosive. Yeah, explosive. explosive. Yeah. Yeah, so, so we do a lot of power. explosive work. So then we have this. As in relaxed or with a uh, pause, with oh a no, pause, continuous, yeah, going. continuous. So we just keep jumping, like squat, jump, jump squat, squat, jump. And how many reps? Jump, how squat, many of these? Um, five, I think. We yeah, we five, start with five, five then we move eight, to six, ten, seven, eight, yeah. that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's five, and then stop for how many seconds, and then six, is it? Yeah, we usually rest for like a minute. Yeah. Okay. All right. In between. Interesting. So <laughs> squat jumps. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, should add that to our repertoire okay. of uh, weird challenges Thanks we do for every that Wednesday. <laughs> it's your turn? No, no, you have to show <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. So the oh, next so one, I need, I need to take the crate. The yeah, crate. Oh yeah, by all yeah, means. Yeah. Okay. Take the crate. Stay here. Well, so it looks like they've not so really yet quite had I'm their I'm mind made up. I'm always very scared when you bring props. You yeah, know? exactly. <laughs> it's yeah. always, it looks... So it, Makes Duncan's heart beat Kay. just a little bit faster. I think it's fine. Oh, no, they're checking the weight as well. Oh, maybe yeah. this way. Yeah. Which way? No, that's this way? Too high. Too high. Uh, this that's way, too high. Yeah, okay. That's, seated. That's, that, that's fine. So basically, it's like a rear foot elevated split squat. Something okay. like that. Yeah. So you put your back foot on. Hold the mic. Hold the mic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then you go down. And okay. you hold it for like... So basically, the idea is go down in like three seconds. Hold it for three seconds. And explode up. And explode up. Okay. Also, we have done the jumps one, but I think we shouldn't jump on this box. Okay. Yeah, yeah so especially <laughs> since I kind of broke it the last time we did something like that. So it's the same idea. You just do this, and we did like same idea: six, eight, ten, one minute rest in between. What do you you work most during during a competition? Is it your legs or is it your your upper body? I think in sailing, 
uh, we, we have quite full body. But we have quite split roles also. Yeah. Yeah, because she, she, hel she holds the sails and yeah. you control and then yeah, the power and yeah. you do yeah. the direction. Yeah, so yeah. for like, her, it's okay. a lot of upper body power. Yeah, I have a lot of like pulling. She pulls a lot of stuff. All we the sails are really heavy. We do have the time. Maybe we could see a couple of... Uh, non-leg workouts as well if, we, if yeah, you have sure. if you have a couple in mind maybe i mean john just, just, just wants for the to sake get you to work out a little more Dude, as well um, <laughs> push up push-ups but we don't really did we haven't been doing pools we during, use backpacks yeah ah, ah okay. we use like backpacks or weeks, we, had, yeah. we actually had, had dumbbells during the we do brought we, everything we home we do have dumbbells there do you need one yeah <laughs> do you want to do that i can show are you, you game for it you. yeah yeah okay i'm scared now I'm just gonna I'm go grab now. it <laughs> no, but it's really small. It's okay. Yeah, it's but these really are I mean, small. <laughs> <laughs> what weight do you usually use? Uh, for her a lot. I think these are for Uncle Sam's. Bend over roll. I mean, feel free like, to adjust if you guys need to. Yes, oh, there you okay. go. Okay, I usually though. do I like Uncle Sam's um, bend over roll. So you can it's shift like the crate away. Okay. No, I use the crate. Oh, you need it? Oh, okay. yeah. Use the crate. Okay. So then what I do is I grab the weight, bend over, keep the back flat, and just pull. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is quite a common exercise okay. that so I good. do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because I have a lot of like this motion. That's how she the hoists the right. spinnaker. Yeah, hoists the, mm. the front kite. So mm. that's how we train one of the movements that I always do. You also do the one that you swing behind, which but is like it's with like a cable yeah. that I always have that I pull, pull. like almost a full motion of what yeah. she does on the boat. Yeah. Okay. okay. So then your heart rate will rise super high and. Okay, Oof. interesting. So yeah. my heart rate just rising just yeah. by uh, <laughs> yeah, me seeing the mine too. Mine examples. Too. All right. Yeah. So uh, what we usually do on the show is uh, we enjoy seeing you showing us your workouts, home based or otherwise, yeah. and um, yeah, then yeah. you and challenge. Then usually we will either join we'll get to or myself to to you need to push up. doing it as well. The push usually, up. so what have, what has happened now? Everyone More challenging. They they <laughs> they do not want to challenge. Either me or you. So they've just decided to, to just challenge both, both of, us. of us to do it. So I mean, so you could go down the route of like everyone else. Yeah, you or know? you could be different, could and, be different. and challenge that. You could be different. Just yeah. challenge <laughs> John as well. He hasn't done a challenge for a very long time. Oh no! Himself, I, by I, the way. I beg to differ. I've been doing it every week. <laughs> by yourself, no. <laughs> okay, so it's up to you. Right. Um, so each of you gets to choose uh, a particular exercise, and who you would like to challenge. Yeah. Technical yeah. Yeah, why Just don't we both do it? Yeah, both. See who's better here. at it. Oh, <laughs> this, yeah. is the, this is the expression that can get every time. Because every, every week, week. It, it has become. Okay, uh, so what this, is the challenge? This is the new norm. What is the exercise? Yeah, with, what, what, do you like, what would you like yeah. us to do based on what? Uh, I think I would choose push up. Push ups? Push ups. Okay. Okay, so how many? <laughs> Oh, is that uh, Can you tell them the tempo before you say oh, how the many? Tempo. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's the challenging part, not the. There's a, okay, there's the a tempo. I, I, I suppose. Yeah. I'm just going to move okay, this out okay. of the way. Okay. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Right. Yeah, basically, there's a tempo to it. Okay. John? It's so, uh, we, we just go down to our push up positions and you, you tell us what, what we need to do? No, I can tell you the tempo first. The tempo is actually um, four down, two hold, and push up. So, you go down in four seconds, you hold, hold it. Hold there for, for two, two seconds, seconds, and then you push up. So it's four and two, then up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then why don't you guys just do as many as you can? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. No idea why we got this. Maybe five. Wins. So <laughs> maybe five. Okay. It's a five. challenge. Yeah. So it's how? Five. So okay, yeah, five. five already. You can't take it back. How are we going to. We're going to be. No, do we have enough space uh, here? Yeah, yeah. So you're there and maybe I'm here? Because I don't think we can see enough of the floor oh, here? right now. I don't know. We're just going to disappear out of the screen now. Okay, Can't. goodbye social distancing, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm supposed to go four down, is it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, hang on a second, sorry, yeah, we need a bit more space, just gonna Roll. move. Uh, I don't think Are you can. good there? Can. Yep. Do you need to adjust? Are you gonna count uh, for us? Do you all want to switch to yes. Lini's camera, guys? Okay. <laughs> I don't know, up to you guys, okay, so... Okay, they will count for us. Yeah, okay. 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 So One. One, two, three, four, hold. One, One two, two, up. up. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Good up. <laughs> Get a sweat on ready. Yeah. Right. Round. <laughs> One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, up. <laughs> <laughs> this is Whoa. painful. Someone's shaking a lot. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm not saying who. <laughs> <laughs> Down. <It's me. laughs> One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, Okay. <laughs> going good. <laughs> Longest five push-ups of my life. Down. One, 
two, three, four, hold, one, two, up. Just one more. Yeah. Just one more. That's Down. One, two, three, four, hold, one, two, up. All okay. right. All yeah. right. Oh, man. Yeah. We so usually do this. We're all good. Do you break a sweat? Uh, no, John doesn't break so a sweat. No, I, I, yeah, I think, I, think I broke easy. lots of sweat. <laughs> I didn't just break the, the, the crate there, but I also broke a few sweats. <laughs> <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> Always guaranteed. So do yeah. try that out at home if you want to break a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> New Milo Gao Siu Dai, less sugar with whole grain cereal. Get the goodness of whole grains with more fiber and protein. The healthier breakfast choice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just catching my breath here. Yeah. Um, so every episode, <laughs> we try and get and learn a little bit about the sport that we're featuring. This is Duncan's favorite part of I the show it. because he does plenty of research about each sport yeah. by going onto Google and yeah. you know, yeah. Trying so to I'm trip telling people you, up. this particular um, terminologies that I'm finding about sailing, <laughs> it's from Active SG. It's from the Active SG website. I I, I troll through all the the different websites, but for this one, it's from the Active SG website. Ah. So it's all sailing terms. Okay. So I'm sure that you will know, but the main objective is to see if John knows. So please uh, help yourself to the whiteboard and the markers. And so, uh, I'm gonna pause for a bit. Due to the success. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Distancing. Thanks, Sharul. Okay, and so due to the success of, I think this segment we enjoyed a lot. I've gone from four terminologies to five. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I've added one more. I think well, watch out, John Young. I've, well, I've always at least gotten one correct. No, and no, I think there are a no, couple there, episodes that I didn't have every. Really I just good, and yeah, there's and then there's some episodes where I just totally flunk at everything. So don't mention it. Yeah. Okay, so the first one is when I'm on a boat, mm. I'm on a sailboat, mm. and I say, um, John, what's the point of sail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna. You know, oh, there's, you there, there, there's some yeah, sports yeah. where I kind of have an inkling of what mm. the Why terms are direction? because I have a bit more exposure. I'm not asking you what is the point of the sport. Yeah, point of sail. Point of sail. The direction they're facing, no? The, the, the direction good, they're sailing actually. to it. It's pretty good. When it's whenever pretty he good. says that's pretty good, and then he'll tell me that, yeah, but it's wrong. Actually, you yeah, are technically right. Oh, so the point wow. of sail refers to the boat's direction in relation to the wind. Ah. So they, well, look at. I was going to draw it, but. <laughs> sorry? Oh, wow. Guys, you're going to have to have a look at the, the close ups of, uh, of what they're drawing right now because I actually do see uh, it's not just. Well, Kimberly's going all out for this one. <laughs> explanations. We're going to have a look at. Um, I think that's the easiest way to explain it. What both Cecilia and Kimberly. So, am are I right in saying there are eight different types of points of sale? Well, we, we'll, we'll, find yeah. out, we'll find out very soon uh, about this. Eight? Hey. Active SG Sail. website either needs to be updated <laughs> or <laughs> they, 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 are, Maybe they are getting it wrong. Six. Sorry, right. I do not know no, what the eight no, different no, points no. of sales are. Uh, uh, interesting <laughs> fact that you brought, brought, brought up that you, uh, you actually took it from the Active SG yeah. website. Now, in, interestingly, for those of you who, are, who aren't aware, Active SG does have, I do believe, over 50 sports hubs or sections yeah. that talks about sport yeah. uh, and, and how to play the sport, uh, sports terminologies and sports um, rules and regulations. Yeah. and Very useful. Yeah, so it's very, very useful, useful yeah. for those of you who, who want to learn a, a, lot, a bit more about each sport. Kimberly, would you yeah. like to show us what, uh, <laughs> what you've drawn there? It's just basically different points of sale. Okay. Right, we're just so going like to get you to I show it to yeah. that camera over there. Yeah, if we can Maybe see it. Seen. Are we able to see it? Maybe just... Tilt it a little fo forward, forward a little, because yeah. I think the light is... Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's okay. good. Yeah. So, you, you basically can't sail towards the wind. Can't, yeah, okay. Okay, so then you're always at an angle. And 45 degrees off, you get upwind. So you have, you either sail this way or this way. Wind coming from here. Okay. okay. Then you have 90 degrees, which is a reach. I don't know if you understand, but yeah. <laughs> and then you have a little bit more, which is a broader reach. Okay. And then yeah. you have 
straight down, which is downwind. I only draw boats. Yeah, so like if you have the sail, nice. that's how but the wind will be caught not in the very sail. Good drawing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you got eight So basically, of sale, I mean, just, <laughs> just, 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 just so we <laughs> understand it. Says it I, can, I didn't <laughs> say it. Okay. I can only have six. I don't no, know. You, if you count both sides. If you have. Yeah, you yeah. count both sides. But it doesn't make sense. Why no, it doesn't. It? But no. Uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> okay, to the next go. one. Yeah, watch <laughs> yeah. the next one. But learned a lot. Yeah, I, yeah, learned I, a lot. I always learn yeah. something new whenever we come to this part of the show. Okay, so um, you are at the helm of the show right now, but what does it mean when you're on a sailboat? What is the helm? <laughs> the helm... Mm. Kim. Oh, shucks. Helm of the sailboat. Yeah. <laughs> I am the... The head of the sailboat. Are you the head of the sailboat? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You're not. <laughs> uh, what, does, what does the helm mean? It's me. <laughs> I'm the helm of oh, the sailboat. Oh, wow. Yeah. So basically the one steering is the helm. Yeah. Then the one that is... The yeah. The, the, the sails crew. is the crew. Okay, ah. so you're the helm, and she's the crew. Kim. Crew. She's like yeah. me, me, me and Kim. <laughs> me, Kim. Me, Kim. Kim, Kim. Me. Kim, me. Kim, me. Kim, me. Wrong way. Yeah, so she is, uh, she's the helm. Yeah. I don't know how we got... Interesting. Okay, Interesting. so uh, the person who was handling steering? the direction is the helm? Yeah. And the other person is the... The crew. Okay. okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um, you know, we like to joke around. We, uh, some might say, jib a lot. What is jibbing? Jibbing. Jibbing. With a J. Yeah. Jib. Jibbing. Jibbing. Yeah. I don't or jibing. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Jib. Jibing. Jib. Jib and jibe. Jibe. Jibing. So, He's not gonna I reckon they they they're not jibing with each other. They're not jibing with each other right now. On the boat, yeah. Um, something to do with the water, maybe. Oh. It's very good because they're 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 <laughs> on the water. Yeah, so it has to yeah. do something with that. Qu quite yeah. quite a smart guess, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's great. So it's right. No. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> Jiving. What is it? Changing directions downwind. Changing direction. Down. It's very hard. It's very it's technical. How far off was it's, that? Yeah, no, but it's okay, very but technical. You need to know. Okay, never mind. I like the drawing though. Can't be that yeah. far it's off. like yeah. that. So like same thing. Downwind was what we showed you just now. Yeah. One of the points of sail. Okay. So when you go with the wind behind you, mm -hmm. you either sail at an angle or you sail straight, depending which boat. For us, yeah. we sail at an angle. When you change your direction from one it's side to the other, jibing. it's called driving. Jib but ah. on downwind. On, on up downwind. Wind, on upwind, it's different. So with the wind behind you. Yeah. yeah. On upwind, that would be... We don't tell you, so that in case it comes out, you don't know. <laughs> we yeah. don't tell you, so that in case <laughs> it comes out. Itself. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> down. You've done all for three so far. Uh, next one. So I'm at Novena. I'm at velocity, but I want to go somewhere else. It's a velocity shift. What does that mean in terms of sailing? Wind What's shift. a velocity shift? Ah, change of speed. <laughs> from slow to fast, from fast to slow. Pretty good, actually. Is he right? Would you give it to him for that one? Velocity shift. It's not a very no. common sailing term, actually. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's not. Uh, he, well, he usually goes for the Active SG. All right. <laughs> he usually active goes for the SG. less. Less so a common velocity one. shift is a change in wind speed. It can appear to be a change in yeah. wind direction. Yeah, initially. that's how I thought wind direction. Yeah. But we yeah. normally call it like a wind, wind shift, shift or a wind shift. Yeah. Or wind change shift. in wind strength. Maybe that could yeah. be an Americanized version of a, or some other <laughs> active SG. Um, <laughs> last one. Oops. Okay. Um, tacking. Tacking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's tacking. Uh, basically, you. You tack. Yeah, because and you forgot where you're going to be sitting at, so you stick it on the... <laughs> That's tacking. That's tacking. That's tacking for me. You're very tacky. <laughs> tacky. Right now. <laughs> you're very tacky. That's a good it's one. It's very tough. To be honest, this is oh. one of the more technical ones. The it's very technical. It's either you know or you don't. Yeah, I, yeah, well, I mean, for me, it's clearly I don't. Yeah, but... <laughs> tacking. Is the outwind version of yeah, changing yeah. direction? I don't yeah. Basically, <laughs> it's everything got to do with the wind. Okay. Yeah. So, so basically, it's the upwind yeah, version. So like yeah. you, ah. Now you face the wind, but you can't sit in the direction. You only can sit at an angle. 45 degrees, you, you do 90, and then you become 45. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because, because we can't, we can't go head to wind. Like, you don't catch anything. You yeah. go backwards. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're always at an angle. And then you yeah. change it. This maneuver is called attack. Yeah. Wow, we so you know, just, just by, by listening to, to their descriptions of the terms, and I get the Im impression, and I, I don't know much about sailing, yeah. but you're always thinking on the move because 
things always change when you're on, on a sailboat. Like, for yeah. example, on a sport, you really could have a game plan of how things would want to yeah. go. But yeah. I think in, in your sport, things just change a lot. by the day, by the minute, like by in terms the of minute. the weather, <laughs> changes everything. Yeah. So do you always have to be very sharp of, of, of what you want to do? You need to be, you know, communication needs to yeah. be important yeah. when both of you need to be in sync at the same time, right? Yeah. 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 Very uh, adaptable. I think that's one of the, sp the things sailors really need. Yeah. Because like, sometimes you really have a game plan, this condition, this should happen. And a cloud comes in and you're and like... suddenly it changes. Now you have to just drop your plan and really focus on what's happening in the now, yeah. you know? Sometimes yeah. it's a bit hard, especially if it's like a big race. But I think that's one of the skill sets that really good sailors have. Yeah. 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 And how much of it's got to, got to also do with uh, reading weather conditions? I mean, I, I, I reckon a big part of, yeah. uh, of the game actually for you guys is that uh, in terms of understanding weather conditions really yeah. well. There's yeah. like different kind of conditions. There's like a very stable kind of wind condition where you can just go to one side of the course. And there's one that's like oscillating, which is the wind that's shifting back and forth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then there's also <laughs> one that is like, when there's the landscape is really, really mountains around, like with a lot of valleys, then the wind just comes from different directions and it hits the water in different areas that yeah. you cannot predict. Yeah. So then that one's the worst because it's super You really super have difficult. to be thinking on the spot. So like whatever you see is whatever you get. Yeah. yeah, we call There's it some, we call it eyes out condition. Yeah, because you just have to look around, around. all the time. That's interesting. Yeah. That's really interesting. Like for us, when yeah. we wake up in the morning, we look at Facebook. <laughs> Twitter. For them, it's the, it's the weather app. First <laughs> thing that they look at is the weather yeah. app. It's true, you know. We look at is the wind true? for the day, and yeah. the second thing is look out your window because if you see the the trees in a certain way, you're like, oh, today's oh, windy. windy. <laughs> oh, today is, there's no wind today. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. like we that look a lot outside. That becomes the first thing that you notice yeah. most of the time. Especially on a race day. That's yeah, the yeah, first thing you look out because you're like, is this my wind today? Yeah. Please be my wind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, just, just to, just to end it off, I mean, <laughs> both of you obviously have the Olympics to look forward to uh, next year in 2021, but uh, what has been the highlight, I mean, as a team together, is it Asian Games or what has been the highlight of your career so far? I think the highlight of our career would be qualifying yeah. for the Olympics. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that I think was a great, really great moment. Like, yeah. we had an actually really good event, I think. Yeah. Um, there were like, I think, eight spots or six spots that Yeah, for that the event. open spot. Um, it was quite well contested between like 10 countries and I think we went there and we did really well in the beginning and I think that gave us a lot of confidence also. Yeah. So yeah, we're really happy with that event, I think. Is Feels it like all your work <laughs> comes into play, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. Is it too early to, to gauge what you, you intend or you think you can <laughs> achieve in Tokyo 2021 or is there like a goal in mind that you... I think we're Wait. actually aiming for, for top like a, 10. Yeah, like a medal race. I think that would be great for us. Okay. It's our first games. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, I mean, that's yeah, big enough achievement. Yeah. yeah it would I can be. only dream of the Olympic Games. I do a lot of dreaming <laughs> these days. But um, <laughs> You could be a broadcaster <laughs> there, John. You could be part of the Olympics as well. Yeah, well, yeah, that's also Active a big SG. dream. Everyone's Everyone <laughs> uh, is to be part of it. It doesn't matter if you're sailing, you're competing, or you're doing broadcasting, yeah. or just talking a lot like what we are doing right now. <laughs> But don't forget, you can also support our team, Singapore yeah. Athletes. Of course, this, is, this has been a really trying year for everyone because of COVID-19, but especially so for our Team Singapore Athletes. Uh, do head on down to the Team Singapore Facebook page. Right at the top of the page, you will see a pin post where you can pledge your support for our athletes. And we do need as many of those coming in as we possibly can before National Day. So thank you for your support. And uh, yeah, hope you can be my wind, as they would say. The wind beneath <laughs> my sails. Uh, wind beneath my... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, beneath yeah. my what? <laughs> but thank definitely you, my Thank you so much, uh, Kimberly and Cecilia, for, for being thank with you. us. Uh, but don't go anywhere yet. That's it's right. Monday. It is Get Active with Milo time. And who do we have? We have Constance Lian back for a second round of Get Active with Milo. That's our eight-minute workout sessions uh, on Monday with Team Singapore Athletes. So stay tuned for this one. Hi, everyone. My name's Constance and welcome to Get Active with Milo. So today we're going to be doing an eight-minute 
MRAP workout, meaning as many rounds as possible, okay, in eight minutes. So for the first exercise, we're going to be doing power jacks, six power jacks. So what is a power jack? It's basically one jumping jack, one tuck jump, one jumping jack, one tuck jump. We're going to do it six times, okay, followed by 10 foot taps. So 10 foot taps is basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten of these. Then we're gonna move down to the mat. So we're gonna walk forward. Okay, inchworm, push up, walk backwards. We're gonna do it five times, okay? So one walk down, one push up, walk back, it's one. You're gonna give me five of those. Okay, so walk down, one. One, walk down, two, two, okay? After that, you're gonna go down, lie down on your mat, grab dumbbells, if you guys have dumbbells, if you guys don't have dumbbells, it's fine too. Use bottled water, one or two, it's up to you. You lie on your back, okay? Then you're gonna touch your toes with it. Okay, you're gonna give me eight of these. After eight, you're gonna give me bicycle crunches 20 times. Control your legs, don't move too fast. Make sure you're feeling the burn in your abs. Okay, 20 of these. After 20, you're gonna to go to plank. Plank position, you're gonna bird dog 10 times. Opposite arm, opposite leg, extend outwards, lift up, extend outwards. Okay, 10 times. After 10 times, you're gonna go back to six power jacks. Remember, one jumping jack, one tuck jump is one rep. You're gonna give me six, okay? Then 10 foot taps, walkouts with a push up five times. Then we're gonna be doing, then we're gonna be doing um, bottled or weights, dumbbells, toe touches. Okay, lying on the ground. Then bicycle crunches and then high plank but dogs. Okay, so all you need now is grab a towel, a mat, possibly a timer. So grab a towel, a mat, a timer, and yeah, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna set my timer to eight minutes. Okay, we're gonna start soon. I'm gonna put my Weights out of the way. Okay, I'm going to start in 10. 10 seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Power jack, six times. Three, four, five, six. 10 foot taps. Three, four, six, eight. 10, after 10, we're gonna go inchworm, push up, come back up, push up, come back up. We got five of these. After you're done with these, grab your weights. We got eight toe touches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put your weights at the side. You give me bicycle crunches. 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight. 10. Okay, then we're gonna go to high plank. Give me high plank. Okay, opposite arm, opposite leg extends. So, one, two, three, four, control, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Back to power jacks. Six of these. Ten foot taps. 
get back straight into it. Okay, inchworm to a push up. Five times. Once you're done, you're going to grab your weights, lie on your back, eight times, toe touches. Twenty bicycle crunches. Eight, keep going. Six, eight. 20, high plank, extend 10 times, keep going guys, you only got 8 minutes of work, give it your best, your very best effort, if you guys get tired, don't be afraid to rest, Rest and get back into it. Done. Third round. Ten foot taps. I'm halfway there. Got four minutes left. Come on guys, you can do this. Okay, now, on the mat, let's go, eight times, five, six, seven, eight, drop the weights, crunches, straight into it, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, ten, okay, high plank, we're almost there guys, ten times, High plank, butt dog. Control. Tighten your core when you lift up. Keep that core engaged at all times. Okay, fourth round. Ten foot taps. Let's go. Two, four, six, eight. Okay. We're almost there. Two minutes more. As low as you can on that push up. Again, if you can't do the normal push up, just go on your knees, push up, come back up. Okay, when you're done, back on the mat. Toe touches, real weights. When you're done, 
plank. We got one minute more. 10 times of these. Squeeze in as many exercises as you can. You got one minute. I got 30 seconds. Got 20, 20 seconds more. Ten seconds. Six. Keep going guys. Two. One. Rest. Great job guys. You guys did it. You guys should be proud of yourself. And you're done. Thanks for joining me. Whew, well, that was a great workout. I think the four of us really enjoyed that one by Constance. Yeah, definitely. I think watching is always a lot easier than actually doing, but we Correct. do hope that some of you have tried it out. If you haven't, you can always play back and join more of our uh, workout sessions with Constance as well as with the rest of our Team Singapore athletes. And that's all we have for you in this episode of Spotlight on Team Singapore. And we will look forward to seeing you on Wednesday for the Wednesday Report. That's right. 9 p.m. on Get Active TV and One Play Sports. We will see you then. Good night. Good night. <laughs>